There we go. J of Vapes. <laughs> How do you all? Are we all good? Excremente. So, what's occurring? We're here again for another couple of hours. Maybe an hour. See how I feel. Feeling a bit rough around the edges today. But I thought something of a show is better than nothing of a show. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Where is everybody? Everybody on here? Da -da -da, maybe. How are we all? Can we hear you? Yeah, the Wapari Squonker is very, very nice. I think it's quite a bit pricey, though, I think, for what it is. No, I'm only kidding. No, it's a lovely looking bit of kit. Lovely, but lovely bit of kit. No, seriously, guys, if you want to check it out, go and check out the Wapari uh, Squonker on Facebook. It's very, very swish. It's very, very swish. I can't even remember what it is. Hang on, I'll find it now. I shall find it now. Put a shameless link in, shall we? Let's put a shameless link in. Shameless link in. Yeah, I know, mate. I'm, I'm joking. I was messing. They, they, they look quite nice, mate. They look quite nice. They're a MOSFET um, mod, unregulated, aren't they, if I remember rightly? I want a wood one. That's what I want. <laughs> I can't find the bloody page now. They are very swish. They are very swish. Go and check them out anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, they, they, you don't buy a single battery squonker to sort of like vape at like 0 0.01, do you? You build at like 0.8 or 0.5. Nice single ohm, respectable, gentlemanly, gentlemanly vape. Mmm. Stick a wasp on the top, stick a 0 0.5, 0 0.8 coil in it, jobs are done. What's the page again, mate? I can't find the page so people can go check it out. I've got so many stuff on, on the go here, it's going to crash my computer. Just put the link in, but put a space in between the um, W, after the www dot, if you know what I mean. Just put a space in. And then I'll copy it and put the link, put a clickable link in. Then you see for people. Oh, this is a bit ragey, a bit ragey for this really. A bit warm. Hello, Dolores. How are we doing? Nice, nice choice. I like the little pico. Nice. Well, so what am I vaping on tonight? I am vaping on, yes, I've gone Genesis, I've gone old school. i got the Jenny on the um, Smock Guardian 2 pipe. There we go, got a focus. Look at that, vape like a sir. When you've got it switched on, that is. <laughs> 10 watts. Is the factory gone for that? Probably. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Oh, it's not reading the Atty now, is it? Looks that way. Not reading the Atty. Why is it not reading the Atty? Read it before. Fucking battery's flat. I've only just put that in. Yeah, it's a lovely pipe. It is a lovely pipe. There wasn't much uh, rage on the battery, I don't think. Swap it for another battery. We'll try again. I only just put the battery in that. It was vaping on it a minute ago. That needs to go in the charger then, doesn't it? Yep. Put that in the charger. We'll try again, shall we? Try again. Yeah, I love this old school pipe. It's lush. Battery life sucks because it's 18350. Why is it not fucking working? My pipe just died. Oh, no. 
one, two, three, four, five. It's not reading the atty. It's not good, is it? That's not good. We can't be having that. We cannot be having that at all. We can't be having that. I don't want that to do that, do we? Welcome, mate. You can send me one for free for review. <laughs> and I'll send it you back. You can lend me one for review if you want. <laughs> but yeah, go and check out Wapari Mods. Uh, Matt, uh, just search Matt J. Bowen in there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I won't be vaping on the pipe. It's decided it wants to not work anymore. It's charged as well. What's going on with that? Don't know what's going on with that. It's never ever let me down this pipe. It's the first time it's ever played up. Don't know what's going on with it. Oh, is there a bit of shit on that contact? Yeah, that one out. Give it a scrape. Scrape it off. A bit of shit on the end of it, I think. I think that might sort it. That might sort it. When I get it on. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Flashy light. Usually the flashy light denotes that it's not reading the atty. Ah, oh, that's what it is. It's the. Uh, it's because the pin on this is a bit mental. That's what it is. Sorry, it was working a minute ago. It's because I messed with it, that's what it is. Never mess with things when they're working. <laughs> it doesn't like the tank. Bollocks. That's annoying. Yeah, don't blame it, mate. Yeah. No, you know. Uh, also, keep me informed on the prices on them, buddy. Because I do quite like the look of it. I do quite like the look of it. Two seconds, guys. I'm just going to clean this up. Because it's really annoying me. That it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> and I've never had any problems with this. It's always, um, it's always worked. I'd be gutted if it's not working anymore. Might be an excuse to put a nice fet in it or something, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, bud. Yeah, I get you, Matt. I get you. I get you. It's not reading the tank. I think I might have broken the 510. Fuck. Well, that's fucking annoying, isn't it? I think I might have broken it. <laughs> it worked before. I was vaping on it. Nope, broken the 510. Get it. Hi Adam, how you doing mate? I don't think there's a price out on them yet. Um, Mark as such. Go and check them out though mate. Fucking lovely looking bits of kit. Good about that. Oh well, never mind. Never mind. I won't be vaping on that tonight then. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> That's fully charged, ready for us. So anyway, what else am I vaping on? I'm vaping on the little Inikin uh, pebble with the slipstream tank. Yeah. Which is very nice. And I've got some uh, I've got the full line of Riot Squad to review, so I'm just having a bit of a cheeky cheeky try of this. In it, which is when it fucking focuses. There you go. Right squid. I love these bottles, they're all smart. <laughs> Tropical, tropical things. Nice tit sauce is good, and I got from the lovely Andy who lent me the Ram box from Stentorian um, slash Watofo, which is quite a little funky bit of kit. Squonkers for the win. It's a nice little bit of kit. I don't know if you guys will see inside. There you go. See inside there. Little focus. You focus. Nice little squonker. Now I will say, right, right now. 
This camera's a pain in the ass. There we go. I will say no, right, right now, anyone that's thinking of getting this, it does have a slight issue. Right? Uh, Andy sent me this, borrowed it me for review, which is really nice of him. <coughs> and the issue is, it's positive down, but this button is live. Is is connected to the battery plus, right? So if you've got something that's metal touching that, and your dripper, obviously not this one, because you know if it touches the negative side of that, it'll be a direct short. Boom, goodbye pocket, which is a bit of a letdown, really. They could have, you could modify it, I suppose, to make it not do that. But yeah, that's not good, is it? Welcome, Matt. Take it easy, dude. So yeah, just be careful of that. Just note that in your head. But let's face it, we're not daft enough to put things in our pocket with keys and shit like that, are we? Just thought I'd be let you all know aware of that. That's a nice little bit of kit. I'm really gutted why that's not working now. That's really annoying me. No, well, that's not really, unless the coil's gone in the uh, tank, which is also a possibility, isn't it? The coil may have gone in the tank. The coil gone in it? Maybe, possibly. See if we undo it and see what happens. Okay, let's undo a bit. Maybe. The wire's still connected, nice and tightly. Yes, it fucking is. Let's try that. I want to vape on my pipe. I like my pipe. I've got some 12 milligram bread of heaven in here. Oops. Yikes. Good evening, Kerika. How are we, dear? Hope we're good. Where's my other pipe stem? The one that's got a better fucking o-ring on it. That might help matters from a vaping point of view. That's got a better one on it. Do be do, do be do. <laughs> yeah, rather shocking. <laughs> hey, that's quite a good fucking price, isn't it? But then again, who wants to spend that much on Joy Attack? <laughs> Mind you, they got some nice mods, I suppose. Some of their mods are pretty decent. Or not bad, anyway. What's an easy fix? Yeah, I suppose you could put the battery in the other way around, wouldn't it? Yeah, true. That's true. Oh, it's working. Awesome. It's working. My pipe's working, peeps. Yay! I can now vape like a sir. Oh, yes, I fucking can. <laughs> Might take this away with me at the weekend. I like a nice pipe. Walk around town with a pipe. That, that, that's good. That's good. Get rid of the juice at the bottom of that. All the crappy juice in the bottom of there. Ugh. loads of juice in the end of that. I don't know how long the juice has been sat in that fucking bit there. Probably a while, I'm guessing. Probably a while. There we are. Should work now. Oh yes, there we go. Lovely job. I've just got to remember how this works now. 15, is it on 10 watts or 15? We'll go down. Go down to 8 watts. That's better. Clouds. Might need a bit more. Line it up. 
Let's see, three. Oops, a bit too much fucking uh, chuckage at 15 watts. Let's turn it right down. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 11 will do. That's better. It's 12. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. So there. Ooh, nick it. 12 milligram. Ooh. It's good going though if you get that much juice though. Yeah, chopping through cables isn't good, mate. I dread to think how much that is, Philip. <laughs> He's typing, probably. Go and check this bad boy out for making mods. There you go. Check that out. Let's check that out for a fucking 3D printer and a half, eh? <laughs> yeah, give us a thumbs up, peeps, if you like what you see. See what's new, what's what's cracking my lacking. Came okay, with the two mil LO tank, not sure about trying that one. I'm sure it's probably half decent, you know, Dolores. It'd be a tight drawer on that though, I should imagine. <coughs> Which tank? This one. You know about this tank? Adam. And now it's gone. Now it's done it again. It's not working now. What's going on with this? It's working fine a minute ago. Now there we go. Yeah, I love this setup. It's lovely. It's a Genesis tank, so it's the old school tile tank. Hey, I look. If you can see that, hang on, let me get the thing up so you can see. Ta -ta -ta. Old school Genesis tank using a mesh wick. Now it's playing silly buggers. Well, that's a pain in the ass, isn't it? To get a con connection in there. It must be this here. It must be that there. That's that's what's the problem. Is a bad connection on there. Should be fine now, though. There we are. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a bad connection. There it is. That's all it is, it just needed that doing. But yeah. Long silver one. Ooh, very nice, very swish. Yeah, you can't be a bit of history. I've got a load of, I've got about seven Jenny tanks sat down here that I uh, got recently. A few, well, about three weeks, four weeks, a month ago, something like that. 
it is down to that connection at the top it is it just needs nipping down a bit i think if i can i nip that down a bit now but take it a bit more in it work now yeah sorted it it was just the connection on the top needs the spring taken out on the spring extending i think make it just to get a better connection on it Dolores, they're a piece of piddle, hun. Absolutely. I was really worried about it. First time I did one, worked perfectly. I showed it on the show the other week how to do it. Dead easy. And the flavour is great. It's just the fact my pipe don't like it. That's all it is. Works great on the other mods. I need to uh, re rethink that one and have a look at that. I'll sort that later. I'd show you how I fix it, but I ain't got my close yuppy cam available at the minute. Might try the other one. I don't know where the other one is. I've got the other one set up somewhere with something else in it. I can't remember what I put in it. Can't remember for life of me what I put in it. I think it had um, something. Um, yeah, it had, uh, it's got fruit fruit juice in this one. Same tank, but it's the Pyrex version. I don't mind a bit of faffing. You only have to do it once, and that 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 once you've done that coil, it lasts ages. No, it definitely doesn't like it. Oh, I know why it doesn't like it. It's because it's stainless steel. That's why, and it's under one ohm. It needs to be one point five ohms. That's why. That's why. Yeah, micro coils are great. You can't beat the old um, the old ways of doing stuff. You know? Yeah, that's why it wasn't working. It needs to be over 1.5 ohm to work. Oh, well, never mind. I have to re-wick it with some different wire. Hello, Talo Talion. I'm just trying to find the one that I was thinking of getting. Da, 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 3D printer. Is it that one? That was the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, you can't make fused tactons. Not a lot, Tal. All good here, mate. All good here. All right, Gary, didn't see you hiding there. Put me this juice is too sweet. Get something else in there after. So what do you know, peeps? Have we had any vape mail? Are we expecting any vape mail? What do we know, peoples? What do we know? Nice. Yeah, it's worth to give a go, isn't it? You know? Oh, 
I'll three D print a pen. Mm. Cool. They've had those around a while. Cool, nice one, mate. No problem at all, Stephen. As long as you sort it, is it Stephen or Stefan? I can never, I can never understand. Drone BF does look nice, mate. I would grab one of those. They are built like a tank. All the ta uh, Lost Vape stuff's great. I've got a couple of uh, Lost Vape products myself somewhere. I've got the Lost Vape Squonker. Um, and somewhere is a lost bait. Who is that got? That's buggered off as well now. I've got a lost bait. Um, oh, they are. Therion. Love the lost bait stuff. Also, squonker wise, I believe that H Cigar are doing uh look, Gear Best are doing the H Cigar new uh, the new inbox on very cheap deals. Mm. Hang on two seconds I'll find it now. It's on flash sale and it's dirt cheap. Um find it now. Mm -mm -mm. It's the new one. Where is it? Seen it somewhere. Seen it somewhere. Sixty quid with the dripper, the whole kit. I apologise about the noise, someone's playing. Ah, oh, yeah, got you. Yeah. Yeah, that giveaway is America only, mate. Yeah, it's very cheap, mate, for that price. Very cheap. I don't have any problem with the batteries getting in and out. Dead easy. It's got a little pull tab on it. Job done. I just tap it in my hand. It's job done. Yeah, the Sharon's quite a nice bit of kit. I was looking at them myself. Bum 
Yeah, nice. Probably two. Just buy all three. Just buy three. Nice. You just have to build higher up on the on those Dolores. Build higher homes. They're ragey, mind. I got one here. I built on the show, haven't I? PWM. Um, the Tesla one was really nice. The Invader Three. Take it easy, Adam. Take it easy. Hi, her scene. How are we doing? Yeah, the rock mods. I quite fancy one of the rock mods. Mods. They're really nice. They do some very nice stuff. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, point seven, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I mean not depending what uh, power it knocks out, uh, Dolores. Usually on a PWM style mod like that with a pot on it, you want to sort of like um, like build sort of like 0 0.8 and a little bit higher because you're sort of like basically on a series, a slightly adjustable series mod, aren't you? The new Asmoda squonk looks quite tasty. So if you're going for a Met one and you get one of these, be very careful because that is live. That is positive and that is negative. And if you put the battery in the other way around, it's the other way around, obviously. It's because the actual button is the, um, you know, the connector. But it has got a lock on the button, which is quite nice. But obviously, if you've got a full metal um, dripper on there, sh metal sheath dripper, then if it's in your pocket, you know, it's going to have a squirrel. Yeah, I like the Wrath. I've got one myself. I've got one. Nice little mod. Battery life sucks, though, if you're building low. You've got to build high on it. Yeah, so it's going to be series then. So it's going to be 8 volts towards the top end isn't it yeah you have to build a bit a bit, a bit higher on the raft to get your battery life sorted what have I got here what's in that one? oh it's got custard in that isn't it might vape that after. Might vape that after. Yeah, Wrath is a good bit of kit. I like the Wrath. And it's cheap too. It's quite a reward. About 30, 40 quid now as a kit. The RDA that comes with it is a bit meh, but other than that, it's alright. Yeah. Alright, got you here, scene. Yeah. Just buy pre built coils, dude. Sorry about the noise in the background, guys. Yeah, the uh, HCR VT inbox is currently 58 quid. Well, 59 quid, give or take. Which I think is a bloody good price. The red looks quite tasty. But I think I'd go for a black one with the carbon on it and get some wood doors for it. Mm. Just get the wood panels for it. Very nice. Very nice. I really want one of those ET aliens. I want one of the blue ones. They're fucking lovely. I'd probably never use it. I'd just sit on the shelf. Hello, Aries. How are we, sir? Right, give me five minutes, guys. I've just got to nip out for two seconds to go and sort something. I shall be back in a minute. Don't worry. I shall not be long. No, I won't. Yeah, never trust the specs on this moment site, though, mate. <laughs> right, back in five minutes or so, guys, okay? 
ignore the noise of someone raising the nuts. You won a G class. Do you think you've got enough? <laughs> you jammy sod. I, I really want one of those. Right, I should be back in about five minutes, chaps. I'm going to grab a drink while I'm out as well and get rid of these empty cans. <laughs> See you in a second. Yeah, I've seen the new Wasp out in clear and also black as well. It's on pre order at the minute. Back in a sec, guys. And I am back. There we go. There we are. All right, what's it doing? All right, smart. Bloody posing. I do quite fancy one of those uh, hate cigar inboxes. They look quite nice. <laughs> what do you like? Smart V8. Fair enough. <laughs> Someone's decided to start their motorbike now, for fuck's sake. Six batteries, is it worth it? Oh, it'll be a powerhouse, mate. It'll be a powerhouse. It will be a powerhouse. Why don't you just get yourself a Lipo? Use six batteries, yeah, it'll be worth it. It'll be, pa it'll be powerful. <laughs> it'll be powerful. Make sure you you do do good solder job on it. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. There's always one reprobate on the stage. 
Yeah, it is. I need the window open, otherwise this place just gets smogged up. With a bit of luck, it'll cut it off in a minute. He's already got one. He's got two now. <laughs> no, that would be a sports trials bike. This is 650. Sounds very rough, but it's got big cams and shit in it. Because it's all race tuned. Oh, he's turned it off now. Thank fuck for that. Whack a hole, whack a hole. First the strimmer, then the RC car, then the motorbike. <laughs> Hey Mika, how you doing bud? Oh you got one of those PC fans in an expensive box. <laughs> uh, Lipos are a bit... Oh, I don't know. Have I upset who? No, no, he just... Um, it, he just tinkers with it occasionally. It's a nice bike actually. It's a bit of a powerful thing. Not my thing. <laughs> yeah, I butcher everyone's name. <laughs> so guys, this this is what I've got to put to you. I've got a question. What would you like to see on a Tuesday on this show? Yeah, Lipos have got a lot more balls. The lipos, I've got big balls, but you need to get yourself a decent quality charger. Um, I don't know where I've put mine. Put mine away somewhere. Put mine down somewhere. Um, a balanced charger and balanced charge it. But yeah, they are good. <laughs> Naked dancing. I'm not naked dancing. I break the camera. No, seriously, guys, what would you like to see more on a Tuesday? Because we need we need to get some more content on the show. Oh, I know the one you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the one you mean, Jerry. Destroy rainbow mods. No, don't destroy the rainbows. The mod isn't done at all. You just charge it up again. You just charge lipos up. There's a lipo in that. There's a lipo in that. There's a lipo in that. Pretty much everything that's... Uh, Where is my charger? There's my charger. There's my charger. I've got this posh digital... Um, charger, Turnergy, for about 50 quid. No, you just buy a new battery and stick a new battery in it. Um, here's one. <laughs> 3S Lipo battery, 2000 mAh this one. 2200 mile. Um, don't know what I can't remember what there is 24.4 watt hours and it's a 25C. So that's that's um, if if you if you make if you make ones, that's a lipo there. If you're building a mod, that is. But I've replaced a few um, batteries in mods, it's just finding the correct battery. Everything pretty much is thing is thing. 
Yeah, you can still replace them. Take them apart, solder them out. Job done. I've used them before. But I know it's, I know where you're coming from. You mean like that? When the battery goes in that, it's knackered. To a certain extent, it is dead if that battery goes in that. But you can get, if you hunt high and low on eBay and the internet, you will find a battery the similar size and spec. Yeah, like for instance, the uh, this one, the Halicean. There's the Lipo in there, look, little Lipo. And then you just pop it out, and you've got your connectors in there, look, see? Must get around to stripping this down completely and cleaning it out. It's a bit monkey, macky, monkey in there. I don't even know what juice is in that. I'm going to re wick this. Two seconds, guys. I'm going to need to re wick this bad boy, I think. Because it's not happy for some reason. Where is my cotton? I've lost my cotton. I've lost my cotton. Where's my cotton gone? I don't know where my cotton's gone. I've got a bit in that one, Molly. There's a little bit left in that one. I think. I'll use a bit out of this one, probably. You're welcome, Dolores. You're welcome, Dolores. Literally, they're just solder connections, then. Literally. It's definitely not throwing the wattage displayed. Can anyone help me out? Sounds like you might have a battery on its way out there somewhere. Shot near me, it's gone now. He would replace them very cheap. Yeah. God, we're all learning all the time. Yeah, all learning all the time. Very odd. Sounds. I check your connection. Yeah, I've done that before. Hi, Ch Hi, Shereel, is it? Shereel? Shereel? Hi, Shereel. My phone charged and something just went ping. I think it was Instagram. Let's check Instagram, see what it is. Yeah, you got to try learning something new every day, yeah. Yeah. Very true, Aries. Very wise, sir. What's this doing? Doing stuff, it's doing stuff. Hasn't it? So, it's not hitting the right power. He got new batteries and still has the same. NX75 is the little one, isn't it? That's built in battery, isn't it? Yeah, it's down to the batteries, though, isn't it? Um, might have different types, you know. It 
See, I love tattoos, but I'm too much of a fanny to go and get one. <laughs> I'll just get some of them like sleeves in it and be all sort of like goth. So guys, I'm just going to add something in to the mix here. Oh, chat needs to stay like there somewhere. Drop, get rid, we'll move that over here. Somewhere. Get rid of that actually for a minute. And um, we shall move that down here. We shall add this in. I'll just put it above me, I think, in the top corner. Don't forget, guys, we've got the, the Telford Vape Show coming up soon. A charity event. So, get on down and support it and go check it out. All the all the stuff is on here for you. I shall get link you up now. There you go. Got it. We got it. We got to get it all um, pimped out though. We got to pimp the man out. Talford's a nice chap. So get that down on there. Go over there. Check that out. If you can get there, get there. If you can't, go on there. Just give in and get a few bits of people. But all your specs on there. Get on. Um, worst case, um, he's at eleven hundred and sixty pounds at the minute of the two thousand pound funding target. So get on there and get some uh, pennies in there. Has a very good, uh, some nice looking. Um, I think it's going to be a small event, but he's got plenty of uh, interesting stuff there, like Subone vaping supplies. There's a bar, Love vaping. There's Empire uh, Empire liquids, VIVD vapes, Vape Demon, Subone magazine. Jack Rabbit, Artisan Vapes, Main Stage, Doozy Vape Co, uh, Coils by Ben, Pucker Juice, Vape Craft, Vapor Round, Ice Vapor, Mr. Coily, Frost Boss Industries, Sluice Juice, and SR Vapes are there. So there may be some more coming as well soon. So get on down there and check it out. Get on there and check that out on that link that I put in. There you go, guys. Well, get on gear best and spend some pennies. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, the R oh, be eight crew. Two seconds, I'm just going to re wick this sucker because it's spitting like a good one. And it usually only spits when the cotton's got all fucking ganky. Might change the juice in it. No, I can't be asked. <laughs> Hello, how are we doing, chicken? You alright? Nice job, Aries. I like the look of that. That's cool, that's. So I do fancy trying. Has anyone seen the new uh, RDA from Digiflavor? That's been been designed by Mr. Daniel DJ LSB himself. I quite fancy one of them. Getting one of them, buying one of them, just so I can check it out and review it for the man, because it's really cool. So let's get the find. Let's find it, shall we? Um, 
or a Digiflavor. So, see if I can find it now. The Aura by Digiflavor. There we go. Project Aura RDA. There we go. Go and check that out, guys. It's on pre-order. It looks very, very funky. Go and check that out, guys. There you go. Links there. Uh, Mr. Daniel himself, DGLSB, has designed it, and it comes with some custom coils that have been designed by one of his friends, like a really good coiler. So, yeah, it looks really cool. Very interesting. Very interesting design. It's got nice chunky posts on it. Looks very funky. Two sets of drip tips come with it as well. Goon style, just looking at it. And it's got a squonk pin with it. You get two um, build pins as well, and you get a little coil with there. It looks really funky, and I quite fancy a stainless one. The gold's quite nice too, but uh, yeah, it looks quite funky. Two coils, two three mil coiling tool, two two point five mil coiling tool, Phillips screwdriver. It's nice you get two coiling tools, so you can you, know, you can line your coils up. There's nothing worse than trying to do that with one fucking peg, is it? That's cool, that looks interesting. Yeah, go on over there and get some cool VUKN gear. Support the NNA peeps and Telford Vapor and Cancer Research UK. Yeah. It's not a wonky build that it's designed for that. It's offset so you can fit your coils in. Isn't it? Hi Speed Freak, yeah, I, it, it, I, just, I never I never thought about going on there because I thought forums died years ago with the ARC. I, there was a few started up and I went on them, like, you know. So I thought I'd go and check it out, see what it is and get stuff on there. Uh, velocities are all right. I'm not a big fan of velocity decks. I think they're a pain in the ass. I like I like the look of that deck though. I do like because it's got offset, so you can't, you don't have to pre bend your coils. It's just straight in. It does look interesting. Something different. I'm just not, I've never been a big fan of the. Um, at least he's trying something different though. That's what I like. It's something different. Different is good. Different is very good. Pardon me, should be up in there. <laughs> what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? All right, what did they put? I didn't see that. You're just rewicking the doggy style. <laughs> Wicking this bad boy up. Wicking the old ram box up. We all like a good ramming sometimes. That's better, it's not popping now. Some juice in there. It's soaking some juice up. Have you seen the ram, Aries? He's listening. Probably not. He's probably buggered off for something to eat now.
No, seriously, I want to see what your opinion is, what you want to see on the channel, you know. This. <laughs> the little RAM box from with Tofu. Oh, that's better. Fresh, fresh wick. It's just, I like squonkers. It's all the advantages of a dripper with none of the drawbacks. <laughs> Don't have to sit there like, ah, drop, drop, drop. Yeah, it's a 50, co 50 quid one, mate, yeah. There is one problem with it, though, ladies and gentlemen. I've said it earlier. All right. This here is the button, obviously. But this is live because this is positive. Which means, if you've got, because some fuckwit will stick it in their pocket with their keys, won't they? So if you've got a dripper that's got a, a metal side on it, i.e., you know, like any normal dripper, you know, with a, a bare metal sleeve, stainless steel or something, yeah, and a key touches a connection across there, it'll, sh it'll just do a direct short to the battery. It's a nice bit of kit. Yeah, but I haven't had one break yet. The bottles are quite, you know, some of the bottles are really hard, like, but uh, you, the only bit it's going to leak out is the tube, really, more than anything else, and you know instantly if it's working or not. Lovely. Flavour and clouds for days, bro. Flavour and clouds for days. Ultimate flavor behind. But yeah, it's I like it. It's nice. I say from that one issue. Batteries. Oh, there you are. Then uh, I, I don't mind single battery mods. I, I, you know, it's just like using achievement, really. Pretty much, mate. Pretty much, mate. Depends how low you build, mate. It's like how long's a piece of springs. Yeah, the I I use the mod maker ones. They're quite nice. Yeah, the super softs. They're called, aren't they? Yeah, I thought about, um, well at some point, hopefully, I'm going to be designing and building my own mod at some point, which will probably be, I, it's going to be quite big, cause it's going to be dual-like, but I'm thinking stab with dual, um, dual uh, parallel um, 8 and 650, or I might just do a single 26 650, because it's like battery life for days, <laughs> but it's going to be stab wood. Unfortunately not, mate, the way it works inside. There's nothing wrong with single battery. As long as you build high, you get your battery life. The same with any Mac, really. Um, squonkers, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got four or five squonkers, I think. Oh, yeah, one up there. Do you want to see my squonkers? Let's have a look at the squonkers. Obviously, we've got the lovely uh, DNA 200, uh, Lost Vape Halicin, Halicion, Halicon. Um, I've borrowed this one. I've um, got the Darwin, the Darwin 3D printed squonk. We've got the Copper Vape in brass. 
We got the affordable mods one, which I got second hand, didn't work, needed a bit of wiring doing to it. That I painted up and what have you. That's just a single um, single battery MOSFET mod, unregulated. Well, it's getting a bit sticky, I should let that dry a bit longer, but never mind. Never mind. All's fair enough, and more. Probably get redone soon. It's more of a showpiece that works. Um, obviously, I've got the Wrath as well. From Council of Vapor, and that's it for Swankers. Yeah. Quite possibly, Stephen. You'd you'd need to have a, you'd need to have some sort of control there, because you you got so much power running. Th you'd need some sort of board straight. You know, it, you, you're going to cause issues there. You're going to get issues there. You need some sort of board of some variety or a MOSFET of some variety on there. But yeah, they're my squonkers. I need to have a squonk. I need to sort out a squonker shelf and just have all my squonkers on one shelf. That's the next thing. I need to sort them all out. I think there's another one somewhere. I seem to remember. Oh, and I've got the Franken Skull clone as well. I've got the little Frankie Skull clone. Yeah, you've got to have a MOSFET or... But you'd need one hell of a MOSFET because of the voltage on it. You'd have to have a decent sized resistor on there for the... Um, your best bet with the LiPo is obviously either a DNA board or a... Um, you know, one of the big Al PWMs that's designed for um, LiPo. Ooh, maybe they're making a new raft. Maybe they're making a dual battery one or something. A bit like the drone. The Geek Vape, um, is it the G150? Squonker looks interesting. Hang on, I'll find out what it's called. Geek Vape. I don't think you can get them anymore. I'm sure Geek Vape were making one. It's called the G150 or something. They only made it for a short period of time. I do some more atomized mods and kits in army map. I don't think they make it anymore. But if you can find it, the S100, that's it. The Geek Vape S100, that's the one. They got them on Gearbest for $63. That was another squonker. They're out of stock. Fucking sod's law, but that looked quite interesting. I'll put it up anyway because something you can find it then. I think the Geek Vape's probably a bit better made though than the Kangi. So yeah, I just want to hear your thoughts. What you'd like to see? Do you want to see? Um, I thought about doing sort of like a starter kit, like crash course, maybe once a week, uh, once a month, or something like that. So people that want to start uh, vaping can come along and see what the crack is on the start. In a bit of advice, or do you want to see more mod builds? Do you want to see? The problem with mod builds is I don't have the money to buy the bits to make the mods, so it's as and when I can afford it, like you know. Because there's no point in me just sitting here and waffling crap like I normally do, and you not be, you lot not being interested. I want to want to do something that's gonna you know appeal to you guys, like. Otherwise, there's no point in me doing it, is there? Yeah, I thought about doing live reviews, Hercene, but you don't get a lot of people that like live reviews. That's the problem. Yeah, single cause for the win, mate. Single cause for the win.
See the only problem with this um, dripper, it does get a bit leaky from time to time. Just from um, you know, condensation y type stuff. That's what I find with it anyway. Very true, go, very true. Yeah, not too bad, Mikra. Well, what's up? What you got? I've made a few, Mikra. You know, I've seen my mods I made. Built this one on the show. What is it and what's the matter with it? Okay. Little focus, get the focus working. Focus, there you go. PWM uh, Big Al board on that. Alright, Andy. Yeah, I could do that, but it's where the vendors are going to like to send me stuff to do like that. Like. Yeah, I can have a look at it, Mikra. It's not a problem. See if it's doable. Daffo, mate. Just finding the right 510, isn't it? Okay, mate, yeah. Send me some pictures, mate. I'll send you a message now on your normal normal Facebook. I sent you a. Uh, I thought you were on the like thing for some reason. I don't know why. I I had your page on um, Facebook. You must have made a new one, mate. What's that, Mark? <coughs> Why didn't you? What's what's the matter with it? It buggered, is it? Yeah, I did think about that as well. I need to get into that, I, you know. Yeah, I do. I do uh, people do send me the odd bits and pieces, you know, to take apart and what have you. I've got a few in here to have a look at. Um, it's just getting... The problem with doing, like, um, a repair, it takes a long time to suss out what's wrong with it and stuff like that. But I can definitely do something on those lines. Yes, I am. Vape forward fast. No, well. You'll probably find the 510, uh, you'll probably find what it is, it's the, what happens with those, you know when you screw it in, um, every time you screw your um, 510, something into your 510 every time, 
what happens is you've got a spring loaded bit on the bottom but what happens is the wire every time you tip um, have I got one here I can show you I haven't got anything here to show you every time you put, screw something on the positive pin turns so your spring can get worn uh, also the wire can get worn but you're welcome to send it over to me mate and I can have a look at it for you just drop us a message on Facebook bud Possibly be able to fit a new 510 of some shape or description on it, mate. I've got a vape flask down there. Sat there doing nothing. It's the stout. Um, because the 510's buggered on it because it's pressure fit. That's, that's it down there. That's the um, wire going to the connection, and I've got a magnet in the bottom that I need to take out. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It sounds about right, mate. No, they're, they're nice little mods, mate. Nice little mods, the vapor flask. I repaired one for someone a while back. It's a nice, fucking 24 quid. That's a bargain, mate. That's an absolute bargain. Yeah, that's true. I've got the Zenith here, haven't I? I've got this bad, but I can't tonight because obviously I've got I've been taking pictures for Conway Valley Vapors for his website. But yeah, I can take this apart and show you the inside of this bad boy that doesn't work. It does silly things it does. Bargain maker, bargain. Yeah, I, I, I do that I do that as well, mate. Yeah, I like taking things apart. That's the best thing, it's putting them back together that's the challenge. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing worse than things don't work. Yeah, you get some nice stuff in the TPD sale on there. Yeah, the RX 510 is known for being a twat. Yeah, heat sink things out. Eh? Yeah, you can get the little piece that goes in between, can't you? You lose a bit, you get a little bit of voltage drop.
took an automatic garage door apart today, getting the limit switch right when I put it back together. Oh, yes. Absolute pain in the arse, mate. I hate those things. Some beard oil on that. <laughs> it's coming off soon. Maybe. <laughs> Diagnosis mods. Just call me Dr. J. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it gets so long and then I just go, I can't be arsed, can't be fucked. <laughs> yeah, there's only half an hour, well, 25 minutes left, guys. So don't forget after me, it's them northern sods, if they're still on. I haven't seen anything to the latter, so go see Aiden, Mark, and I forgot the name of the other one. I always get that. 1800 Dr. J. <laughs> Sadly, not Andy. I can't make it up there, mate. No, I always shave it off. It just gets to a point and I just piss get pissed off. Like. Jay's mod, yeah, Jay's mod yard. <laughs> yeah, they're on. There we go. They are on. They're on after me. Last of the summer vapes. The lads will be cycling up hill on gobbles with their bar and basket in front with Orvis or Allison's bread. Now taken out. Adam, that's the one. Adam, that's what my brain was just like. My brain just went. Mm. Then it was like, what? Of the winner, I like to say. <laughs> itchy and scratchy time. <laughs> itchy and scratchy. Woo, concentrates. We like the concentrate vape now. It's good. I've got messages here. Why have I got messages? I don't know. No. 
Yeah, pretty much. You do have to offset the VG to um, flavour ratio, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That, that That's quite accurate. Um, although I, f I find just to try it, you know, because some are stronger than others, so you do sort of have to, yeah, if it's 80-20, you have to put a bit, quite a f If you're doing an 80-20 mix, then you're going to put your, like, 18 mil of concentrate in and then whatever nick to make up because it's usually nick's pg isn't it very nice i like tropical juice oh christ there's a few then <laughs> big guns oh you can't beat a bit of rhubarb sinner have you ever tried uh, rhubarb cuddle from um decadent Get yourself some rhubarb cuddle concentrate and get yourself some of their creme anglaise concentrate. Just add a little bit more creme anglaise because I find there's too much rhubarb otherwise. Yeah, it takes a while. It takes a while. You have to steep it. You can speed them up a bit by dumping the bottle in warm water and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought you, you guys might like to see the blank I've been looking at that I'm thinking of making um, a mod out of. So I'll give you a sneaky peek. If I can get the money together and get one, I shall get it because it's rather sexual. Um, da -da -da -da. I should get some pictures downloaded now of said blank. There's a couple I'm looking at, but they're very similar in looks. Um, I might just get a plain wood one if I can to start off with, but I really like the look of this. Um, save image as, new folder, make a new folder, new folder, there we go, new folder, start blank, I'll boot. Two seconds. I'm just getting all the different views of it. <laughs> There's a couple of views of it. Bear in mind, this is an unfinished blank. So do that, and then we'll do a little slideshow on my uh, thingy now. Where's the widgets? Image slideshow. Image slideshow add. And we want desktop. We want mod. I'm going to sneeze, I think. <laughs> Crunch what? There we go. There we go, guys. There is the blank I have been looking at. I'm thinking of getting it is rather nice it was me sneezing her scene yeah but the um, the decadent one they use a creme anglaise so it's not a full um, Full rank, um, like over the top custard. It's a subtle French custard, creme anglaise. It's much sweeter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It, it's very nice. Like, just haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know whether to make a squonker or just make a single battery MOSFET mod. It's going to be MOSFET, whatever it is. The only thing I've got, you know, I'm really thinking about is sort of like drilling the hole for the fucking tube to go in. <laughs> Everything else I can do. It's just the drilling out of the tube. Just put it makes me a little bit upset. The blanks are fifty quid, mate. That is made by the one and only Scott Bonner 
otherwise known as I get your 69 e liquid and vape reviews. Yeah, it's a little bit ambiguous. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let me slow that down a bit. It's a bit fucking quick. It's like bum 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 bum. Let's go uh, interval. Let's go to let's go five second interval. There we go. That's more like it. There you go. You've got a bit more of a yeah. I quite fancy getting a milling machine, but you can't mill a big battery hole out. The other thing I thought of was putting a plate on the side, mill it out of the side, and have like a a battery that just sits inside, um, you know, like a slot, and put a bit of stainless steel on it or something. Don't know yet. I'll decide at some point. So I find uh, rhubarb very nice, but sometimes the rhubarb can just taste plasticky. Doesn't taste right for what it is, you know. Watch it on YouTube, Bambi. Bambi versus... Hang on a minute. Bambi, if I just do this, right? Bambi, try this link now, mate. See if that works. Try the link I've just sent you there now. No, I don't use a router. I don't like them. I have huge problems. You need a big block of wood for that, mate, to go oh, like a coat can one. I've got a pillar drill. I was going to get a force worn a bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I did just go slowly because I don't want to break the shit out of that, like, you know? Because they split very easily. I was thinking of putting a brass place on the top and the bottom, to be honest. Fosner bit, that's the one. Fosner, that's what it was. Forstner, innit? Is it Forstner? F O R. S T N E R or something or something like that. Forcing a bit, yeah. And then I'd shape it then. I'd use a Dremel to shape it roughly and then do it by hand. <laughs> yeah, I like the I like the look of it. It looks like a nice bit of like nice bit of um I think the only thing is I'd try and decide which way to have it, whether to have the wood at the bottom and the, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I was thinking the blue with the 510 on and then have the battery in the bottom, that's what I was thinking. The blue bit with the switch and because the, the switch is just going to be a little plate, basically. Because <laughs> it's going to be um, one of these little boards. So it'll be behind a little uh, rectangular plate, like a little square plate. Yeah, I was thinking of that as well. <laughs> clamp it up, isn't it? Clad it and clamp it. But just nip it up, not too tight, like, and just go steady in it. 
just do a bit at a time. Duct tape. <laughs> Duct tape for the win. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. One of them. But yeah. Also, the mill I want, it's only a small one, but it's ideal for doing small stuff because I don't want a massively overpowered thing that's taking up loads of room. But um, I'll show you the... Um, I'll see if I'm going to show you the mill I've got my eye on. It's only a little one, but the little ones are the best ones. Because I, I want something small and precise rather than, um, you know, something over the top, like, you know. So, this is what I'm looking at. <clears throat> nice one, Speed Freak. That's awesome. I wish I had that sort of brains. I'd be having, I'd have all sorts sat here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll show you a picture of what I'm looking at. One of these. If I can get the money together, I'm going to get one of these little bad boys. Just something small, just for like cutting out um, little recesses for. Um, there you go. That's the one there. Proxon MF70. Nice manual uh, mill, so I don't have to worry about faffing about with CNC programming and stuff like that. Because I'm no good at that shit. I tried once, made a mess. At least with that, you know where you are. It's just a posh drill for us at the end of the day. That's all it is. Just buy one, mate. And one of these. About 300 quid new. Yeah, that's true, Andy. It cost a fortune to send it. We've already got a belt sander, Duke. I've got a mini hobby one. A little bench one. Yeah, it's only got a small area of movement, but that's fine. I don't mind turning things around, resetting it up. I don't mind shit like that. I've got loads of patience. I'll sit there and tinker with that. But I've got to uh, save some pennies for one of them. <clears throat> to be honest, I want to try and keep it as all built in as I can, if you know what I mean, when I make it. I don't... <clears throat> Yeah, no, I've got um, I've got a big bench drill. I've got a big bench drill for drilling the holes. That's not a problem. No, I've got a bench drill for that. I've got one of these. Um, <clears throat> something like that. I have got I'm trying to find it now. Got a little bench drill. I'm sure it's Ernjizer or something like that. It's German. Uh, it's a bit like the silver line one, very similar sort of thing. Very similar sort of thing. Yeah, so drill battery out on bottom, yeah. I was just going to get um, a mod, uh, mo uh, you know, the proper mod ones you can get. Uh, 
Uh, here you go, this is what I got. It's very similar to this, but it's a darker blue. I can't remember what the make of it is. I got it from fucking Hobby Zone or somewhere like that. Um, got one like that. Got a bench drill like that. Five speed jobby. Because I haven't got a geek bake tsunami balls. <laughs> <clears throat> I was going to use something like, uh, I was going to get one of the, um, oh what's it fucking called now, I can't remember, they're brass, um, Fat Daddy, Fat Daddy Tube, mm. yeah, I've got one of them for drilling out, that's not a problem, uh, sadly making it on the show would take far too much time. Uh, what I'll probably do, is I do one, is I'll do little video clips as I'm doing stuff, um, and then what I'll do is I'll put it all together in like a little video piece that I'll put on here. Yeah, I'll show you the blank. I'll just do a little video like this is what I'm starting with. And then it'll cut to the bits and, bits and pieces. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, dead easy to do anyway. It's, only gonna, uh, it's probably going to use um, the little... Um, Oh, what's it called? Joel's board. I think it was Joel that did it. Um, they're on Mod Maker. They're like six quid. It's a little MOSFET. <laughs> Shush content. Ah. Don't say content. Yeah, the tubes are like this. I'll see when I find it now. Um, probably be a 26650, to be honest, if I was going to do it. Because then you've got battery life for days, haven't you? Um, tube. Let me see if I can find a tube. I know Mod Maker's in the process of making his own. There you go. Brass tubes. 8 and 650. 26, 650. 26, 650 I'd probably go with. Brass. I'll show you now. I'll put a link in chat. That's the sort of tube I'm going to use. One of these. Alright, Death Stars, mate. What was that, Jerry? When you live, you show where you at. I'm in my vape room at the minute. I just do one single 26650, keep it nice and simple. Nice and simple, make it look pretty. That's probably what I'd do, to be honest. Yeah, but brass looks better on... Um, it doesn't matter if it tarnishes, does it? Because it's inside the mod. No, because I was going to cut the side out so you could see the tube. <laughs> or put drill holes in it or, something, or etch something out so you could see the tube. Make it all pucker and have a shape that your hand fits in. That's what I was thinking. So you have like the hands, you know, like, you know, so you've got like your fingers sitting the mod so it's comfortable. That's what I was thinking. So it's sort of like wrap around like I got the tools, it's just time and money to get the bits. See parts wise, it's like what? Tenner for the battery tube. I've got wire. And then it's like six quid. Uh, this is the um, MOSFET board. It's not designed for you know stupid stupid high ohm um you know stupid low ohm builds it's not designed for that but that's what i wouldn't make it for um find it now one of these little switch fets but i'd probably use a nice button on it rather than a swacky button use one of them
do something like that. I'd probably make it offset battery anyway, if I'm honest, because um, I'd want it to be a squonker. I'm very close to thinking it should be a squonker, to be honest. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. So basically, the only points where it's going to be open are going to be. Um, I mean, I might I might put brass plate on top to put the five ten on because it just makes life so much fucking easier, you know. Sod off with a horn button. Fucking horrible things, horn buttons. Ugh. Can't stand horn buttons. <laughs> Cannot stand horn buttons. I probably will make it squonk, to be honest. But what I'd do is get another battery tube. Yeah? And I'd insert the battery tube in the mod and then cut out where I'm going to have the bottle. So you've got the bottom piece that you unscrew so the, so the bottle don't fall out. Or I'd have a plate with a magnet on the side. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Huh? Mate, as long as you're safe and you understand soldiering, you can soldier, you'll be fine. I mean, I've made all sorts of madcap shit. Because I don't like waste, you see. There you go. It's a bit, it's a bit gun-ho and a bit fucking, like, country... A bit of glue's fucking legged it, but it's got any charge in it? Let's see if we've got to charge it. There you go. It's got focus. 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 Doesn't want to focus. There you go. Looks fine. Sat on. Living the dream. That's a little fifteen watt Athena board inside. Da 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 da. That is the UL, that's the, co the, uh, the box, the coil's coming for a UL crown. No, it's not cheaper to build than buy. But you're the only fucker with it, aren't you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. Right, chaps and chapesses, we're going to have to bugger off. We are going to bugger off. Always fancied a Skyhawk, to be honest. So, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Ta ta for now. Ta ra. Don't forget those uh, northern buggers are on next. Up hills and down dales up north. Take it easy, guys. Ta ra. Thanks for watching. <laughs>